Hello traders, welcome to my channel. Um, I haven't done one of this type of videos in a while, so I thought I would make a continuation to my uh, volume profile introductory video that I posted a few months ago, which has actually been the most uh, viewed video that I have had on the channel. So as a follow up to it, I thought I was focusing on just two very basic rules where well, it's actually one rule that can be applied to long and to short trades so the theme of this video is going to be the number one rule that i think every trader should use when trading volume profile levels and this is going to help you on how to find the best risk reward trade entry opportunities with volume profile for both swing trading or day trading you know depending what type of trader you are what time frames you're going to use this can be applied on any type of market and time frames if you haven't done so yet please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up it would greatly help the channel uh, to keep reaching a wider audience and to just get the videos uh, promoted more for new uh, viewers um, so first let's just kick off by doing a very quick recap of the volume profile levels and uh, uh, elements i mean and what they are again i'm going to link in the description below my original introduction to volume profile video which really goes a lot into detail on all these things um I'm not going to go super into detail in this video, but we're just going to touch up on all these elements again. So as you know, the volume profile, it's a measurement of the traded volume activity on a horizontal scale, basically based on the price scale of the chart. So instead of having volumes at the bottom based on time, we have volumes measured horizontally at different um, volumes traded at different price levels so as you can see here we have a volume profile that goes from let me get my pen here so we have a profile that goes from this point up to the end here you can see the end over here this is our volume profile area so this whole profile is measuring this area of the chart right here and this is a measurement of all the traded volumes that we had over here so first off the volume profile by default most trading platforms will assign a value area of 70 percent of the volume which will be the darker area here again this is all the coloring that i use everyone can just customize this however they want however i like to use a volume of 68 percent which is basically two standard deviations um and i think this is more uh precise or one standard deviation to each side of the mean so i have my value area here then we have value area low is going to be the bottom level of the value area and value area high is going to be the top level of the value area then for whatever period you are measuring your volume profile on you're going to have one main point of control which point of control basically refers to the price with the most traded volume within this whole profile so i don't have a price scale here but whatever instrument this is this price right here is going to be the maximum traded volume of the entire profile and this areas here like we have a point of control here we have a minor point of control here another one here another one here all these points of control tend to act as a magnet points for price 
because these are areas where buyers and sellers are most in agreement as the name implies they have the highest traded volumes here so this is where price tends to come and start balancing around these areas okay then the next element we have on our profile is going to be what we call our high volume nodes which is basically this structures here where you see this areas that stick out right here all these ones these are all high volume nodes okay and each high volume node like we said the tip of the high volume node is going to be the points of control and then the last area we have is the low volume nodes which a low volume node is basically the areas with as the name implies low volumes it's areas where we have cuts in the chart meaning volumes decrease and those are areas that are always going to coincide with strong support and resistance levels that's why for me volume profile is the number one tool in my trading arsenal because basically it gives you the most efficient and fastest way to identify very important support and resistance areas and then it'll help you greatly to make smart trading decisions around those okay so this is pretty much all the elements that we have of the volume profile again i recommend you go watch my introductory video where i go more into detail on this but this elements is what you're gonna wanna just uh be uh, aware of and know what we're talking about so then you can understand everything that we're gonna see next in the videos okay so let's get right into it number one long rule in an uptrend you only want to look for longs at the bottom edges of high volume nodes again this is a very general rule i go into a lot of different strategies and everything in my trading courses that i have available through my website but i wanted to just share with everyone a good general rule that i think is going to be a great guide for anyone starting out with a volume profile and the first rule um, when it comes to the long side is always look to get long at the bottom of high volume nodes so if you see this chart here i'm just drawing this diagram here like this is price action coming up here obviously you want to be aware of market structure you want to know that we are in this case in an uptrend we have a high volume node area here so you can see that our point of control is going to be right around this area the area that is sticking out the most and basically what our number one rule would say to the long side is wait patiently and just take long trades once price is getting near the bottom areas of the high volume node and again you got to look at this as zones it's very hard to just put like a very specific line and just say okay long at this line because you know this is dynamic levels the volume profile is constantly evolving and changing as new trading activity it's been um you know happening so you just want to draw this as wide as uh, general zones where you know that any trip back into these areas are areas that you're going to be interested in getting in and what we were talking about in the beginning as far as good risk reward trades this is also going to really let you take good risk reward trades because we can put our stop losses which in this case i'm using a little x to symbolize where we're going to put our stop loss we know that we put our stop losses beyond the low volume node or low volume cut areas on the profile if price were just gonna trade down here 
we know our trade idea is invalidated because there's a good chance that could just keep going down into the next high volume node that we have before that we have below so that's why you want to just concentrate on the long side on uptrends and trade the bottom of high volume uh, nodes and we're going to look at several examples just to illustrate this easy more easily but and you can see here i have two examples of two trades that you could have taken let's say if you long right over here on a trip back you can see market structure is to the upside we're making higher highs we're making higher lows so now we're just waiting for a retracement around the bottom of our high volume node and then let's say we got our entry right here and our two targets our first two obvious targets always are going to be back to the point of control and back again to the top of the high volume node because you know even if we're in an uptrend and you know if we're taking a swing trade then we could hold the position but you know this is very likely to go here and then reject and then yeah we could eventually continue to break through but the safest bet is to scale some out or close out either at a high time frame point of control or a high time frame top of the node because like we're gonna check out in the coming examples top of high volume nodes are areas where we have resistance bottom of high volume nodes are areas where we have support okay so let's go into some charts and let's look at examples we're gonna go over four examples two swing uh, trade examples long and short and two intraday examples long and short but again you know once you see this concepts you're going to be able to just back test and go on your charts and just verify uh, everything I'm showing you here okay so first example let's go into a forex market so let's zoom out here so this is Australian dollar US dollar and I have two profiles here this we can even let's erase this one for now and let's focus on this profile here so this profile as you can see let me I'm gonna mark the background on this the histogram box just so you can see what area I am using okay let's just put it there well I don't want to make it so dark let me histogram I'll just make it a little lighter but basically our profile I have it hinged at the swing high here and I'm not taking it all the way to the end of the chart because the whole point of the example is to show you how you could use this for an idea for a long trade so we are basically I'm gonna put a mark here our profile is hinged right here this is the end of our profile here so this whole profile is measuring like we said the volumes traded from this point up to this point we can see we have our valley area here our main point of control here this is 68% of our traded volume is inside here this is valley area high this is valley area low and we got you know little high volume notes and a larger one here another one here etc okay so what is the premise then that we could have taken on this trade 
let's just do a little replay here so let's assume that we are up at this point i'm using the replay feature here on trading view so we have our volume profile up to this point right here and let's say we identify right over here we had a break in market structure meaning that we had price come break up and we broke above this previous swing high so that means we've broken market structure up now we are coming back on a retracement so now we're going to use our profile to help us decide okay where can we get in on this retracement immediately you can see we bounced here already around this area so this was the first cut in volume we had here but now as we're going to see on the example markets start pushing lower we come up we start pushing lower so now we're coming lower we are still in a bullish market structure because right now these lows to me are the key level that we want to hold if we're still going to be bullish we did have a minor break of this swing low here but for me this was the swing low that cost price to move up and break this high so for me this is what determines now the bullish structure if this comes down and closes below here then i'd say structure is again sort of neutral or leaning bearish and this will probably continue down but for the moment we are holding up here market structure for me has broken to the upside so now we come to observe our volume profile so what i like to do is i like to take the rectangle tool this is trading view i use trading view and sierra chart as i'm going to show you some examples on sierra chart but any trading platform you know with volume profile capabilities you can do this obviously on any platform and so we can draw here like we said we are looking market structure is up we are in a short term uptrend here so you can see it started in february so it's been about a month and a half of uptrend here we are coming down it is a strong move down but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark we're already below this area but now let's focus here let's look at this whole cotton volume here and i got a template actually i like to mark it as like a green zone so now for me i have two areas here with very obvious cuts in volumes i have this area and i have this area so any one of these levels for me is going to be strong support we already bounced off of this level here so now for me this is an area where i think there's a good opportunity to get long and our risk reward odds are very nice over here so let's see i would put an entry right here at the very bottom of this high volume node our stop loss we could put a tighter stop right here or to be safe we could put one just beyond this lower cut as well and this previous swing low which for me is determining market structure and then as far as a profit well i mean the first obvious place would be this previous swing high but or as i'm going to show you later well let's first let's just play the trade and just see i mean obviously i know this is all hindsight but i'm just showing you an example of 
you know, to give you a good visual representation of how you can look for these things. So let's just push play. You can see we come down and there, like I don't well, it's right below our end, it's right above our entry. Let's say we would have gone in just right there at the top of the green area that I marked. And you can see triggered, bounced right off of the first cut in volume. But again, we put our stop loss right below this one. So this is also going to be another buffer safety area that we can have. And now price takes off first. And now, since this is a swing trading example, we can zoom out. And this is where I had my other profile. Let's take a profile from here all the way up to the end of the chart. Uh, I mean, the end of what we have here at the current price. And then right here, you can see how, first of all, you can see the confluence. You could have this profile or this, and both of them had a huge cut at the bottom of this high volume node and this one right at the area of our entry. So if I pull back this whole thing, you can see it perfectly matches this other cut in volume from a longer term profile. So you can just push it back if you want into a longer term profile. And now for the target, we can either use previous swing high here as the first obvious one. Also, just based on price action, we have a small gap here. So for me, this coming up would be the most obvious target. Or we can also use the longer term profile. And in this case, like we said, we have the top of this little high volume node here, which matches with this last cluster and this last swing high. So for me, previous swing high, gap fill, and then this whole area here is going to be the place that for me would be the most obvious area to just close out my positions. And if I just push play, this is actually the end of the week. So this is exactly where the markets are um, at this moment in time. But my prediction is for next week, we could have here or we can push it, like I said, to the edge of this little node here and the top of this area right here. Let me just take off these annotations. So, you know, this is an idea of how you can use your volume profile levels with the number one rule that I'm going over as far as taking a long trade. Wait for a break in market structure to the upside, then wait for a retracement and just start using your longer term, higher, um, higher time frame, um, high volume node bottom areas as potential entry areas with a stop loss just beyond them. Okay. So, and again, you know, this market, if it's very strong, we can obviously go like this and then flip this to support, etc. But, you know, just for the sake of being uh, cautious and not giving back any profits, definitely the top area of a high volume node, it's always a good area to either take profits or scale down on your positions, you know, especially if you have a pretty strong rejection like we have over here. Okay. 
So that's pretty much the first example. Let me just get out of here. Let me close the replay feature and let's just close this area right here. And let's just take off this profile again and I'll just return this here. Okay, so that's one example again of a swing long trade in the Forex uh, market. Now, let's go into the uh, futures market, which is my main market for day trading, specifically the ES and MES, the E mini and E, uh, the micro of the S&P 500. And okay, now we're here in Sierra charts and let's go over an example of an intraday long trade opportunity applying our number one rule of only looking to long the bottom of high volume nodes. In this case, this is um, the session volume profiles. So these are just automatically uh, generated every day. Um, I have it a split between extended hours and regular trading hours. So the profiles that are all gray, this is regular hours from 9.30 a.m. Eastern up to 4, um, to basically 5 p.m. Eastern time. Then we have our one hour closing in futures. And then the profiles with the gray and blue, these are what we call extended hours. These are from 6 p.m. Eastern all the way to the next day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So, this, uh, I'm gonna push a replay here, but just for context, let's zoom out, and you can see each one of these sections is one day of action. So you pretty much have one, two, three days here of constant uptrend. So we are in a, you know, we've broke all over this high. We broke, we're breaking all previous highs here. We broke this one as well. So we are definitely, you know, in a um, uptrend as far as the, um, for the last few days. So we are looking for intraday long opportunities now on this particular day right here that I have set. So let's zoom in. And another thing worth noting when it comes to futures markets is that the regular trading sessions, the regular market hours have a lot more volumes. So all this, all this profiles, all this high volume notes, etc., that we have here from our regular hour session, have a lot more significance. So if I'm trading during the um, extended hours, I'm going to place a lot of importance to this uh, levels, especially because they were made on the previous day's session. So as you can see, market open here in the evening, we came down, we bounced up. So right here we have a break over this swing high. Now we are coming down into a retracement. Now this is the area where you can see how strongly this area was defended over several hours before we took off right here, right around the time that the European markets were starting to, uh, we're gonna open up. So now we're coming down here and we have two main areas that we're gonna pay attention to. We have this area here and this area here. You can see the day before we came up, we consolidated and we broke up. So we, in this little consolidation, this is where we accumulated volumes and made this little high volume node. And you can see the bottom of this area, it's coinciding with where the buyers were defending this level in the early evening session. And we also have 
a big bottom here on our session profile for the evening for extended hours so this is going to be our focus so i'll just go here and again what i like to do is i take my rectangle tool here and i'm just going to mark a general area here so this is all i have a template for this i like to put it in i like in sierra chart i have it set in blue so basically this whole blue area this is an area that we expect um, support if we come down here especially as you can see we came down here but this area is still untouched in the evening so if we come down into this area i expect to have a good reaction here if we come down and just break through here then for me you know that is definitely means my bullish bias is wrong and then we have the possibility of just breaking down further and filling into this level filling this gap here etc but for the moment i expect support here you can see resistance break above support and we take off we're bouncing right around the point of control here of this little high volume node and now let's see what happens when we come down into this bottom area into this void here in volumes let's move it all the way down here this entire area so again if i take a trade here my stop loss would be just beyond this level maybe i mean to be safer i would probably put it maybe like around the point of control here because this gap fill this could potentially push all the way into this gap fill here so maybe just put it beyond there into this little consolidation here okay and so now let's just hit play and we can observe what's gonna happen i might need to speed this up just so it doesn't take a long time to do this but the one mistake that i see everyone make and it's something that even i sometimes catch myself doing and is people see this lows and this market is coming down here and they just assume that because we're coming down here again that this is just gonna break through and just go through everything and this is the worst mistake you can make is to try to short the bottom of a high volume node never never try to go short at the bottom of a high volume node especially like a case like this where this is the day session this is has a lot more significant volumes here we have a big swing low here so this is not an area to short whatsoever if you were actually short from somewhere around here like if you caught some short around here you would definitely want to close it here like you don't want to hold a short coming into a major uh you know into the bottom of a significant um high volume node but again let's just push play and we can see how price comes it's finding some support again into this area the low of the profile of the session you can see how this keeps developing we are rejecting rejecting and again you know i'm not getting into a ton of details here on my intraday trading with the uh, order flow and volume profile i'll go i go into a lot more detail as how we can use footprint charts the depth of market etc to identify trap traders and everything at these levels but for now we're just focusing on the very basics of just longing bottoms of high volume notes and uptrends and shorting tops of high volume notes and downtrends so you can see we have a little bounce here right around this same levels into this consolidation here 
and now we're gonna see it push into our zone here so anywhere in this area for me will be a good level to get long like you could have gotten long on this wick into this area anywhere around here and again a stop just beyond this level so see let me just pause this here so right here this is where the momentum traders all start piling short they see this over here and they just assume that this is just going to collapse completely. Never ever assume that. If you want to short this level, what I always say is let it break through the low volume node area and then short a retest of it. Short the top of the node here. But you don't just assume this is going to break and start shorting at the bottom because also we want to practice good risk reward management and if you just happen to chase this market and just open a short right here where's your stop loss you're probably going to have to put it here and for what your target would be maybe the bottom of this note here i mean this is like a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio your target is the same distance as where you're gonna have to put your stop loss those are really terrible um, you know risk rewards unless you have a really high hit rate taking one-to-one -one risk reward ratio trades is gonna be really really risky okay so let's just I'm gonna accelerate this let's just make this faster 30 and let's just play it and then you can see right here how we start getting the bounce here like we said right at the bottom of this high volume node and now where do we take profits well you know our stop will be right around here first obvious area we could take profits it's at the point of control of our session and then following that well we just look for cuts in our profile well there's a cut here basically the top of notes we have one here this one is pretty much right above the point of control but now you're basically looking to take profits at the top of nodes this might be too short you know you could potentially now take some off at the point of control but as you can see this is just gonna keep pushing a little higher and then you just start looking at tops of nodes if you want to hold this for even longer you could even shoot maybe for this level right here the top of this node and the area on top of this session profile let me just put this even like faster just to see what happens okay and you can see you know it comes back down but again we have our set stop you could even move your stop loss now just below the wicks here and now you could see this bounce we made here we bounce right off of the cut here now so even if you didn't get in on this and you just wanted to wait for a confirmation you could have left this bounce and then taking along again into this whole bottom of this major node and then you can see we hit this first area here and got a quick spike back you just make this a lot faster Okay, 
and then we have this big spike up and then we actually just continue going up okay but again let me delete all this and just let's take a little review again of this trade so we had this obvious area we had here like i said a high volume note from the day session we know these lows have been defended earlier in the evening session we're coming down we bounce right off of this cuts in volumes at the bottom of this node our stop loss will be just below this so this lets us have a very clear and validation with the tight risk reward and then as far as um we bounce and even if you don't want to just blindly put a limit order to buy you want to wait to see a reaction you can see here we come up market structure break market structure break we're making higher highs higher lows we come again multiple times into the bottom of this node where we can look for multiple uh, opportunities to get long and then like i said as far as the targets you could do the point of control of the session or you can just look for the top edges of high volume nodes like in this case if it would have been me i would have taken off everything here i would have closed the whole trade right around here right around the previous highs of the session and right around this big cut in volume you can see it did go up go back down quick and then shot up but we did have you know a significant reaction right off of the top edge of these nodes here okay so that is an intraday example of a long trade i'll just stop this let's go back to our presentation so now let's talk about the same rule number one rule for trading volume profile levels to the short side and now it's the other way around in a downtrend environment you only want to short the top edges of high volume nodes so you can see right here we have a market that's trending down we're making lower lows lower highs and we have an obvious area here around the top of this node which i've marked in the red box and again what we look is to wait patiently for retracements into our top resistance look to go short in this area with a stop loss just beyond the low volume cuts we can look for our trade entries here first target would be a trip back into a higher time frame point of control of a major high volume node and then our second target could be just going into the bottom area of the high volume node and again you know this market could come down and just break lower but the safest play is just to scale out or at least close part of your trade or get out at the bottom of a high volume node if it breaks down from it then you can look to get in again on a retracement into it to go into a bottom high volume node okay so same scenarios like we talked before let's go into a swing short example on bitcoin us dollar uh let's go back into trading view bitcoin daily chart okay and this is pretty straightforward again this is all hindsight but i'm just showing you examples of where this has worked this volume profile i have it right over there 
let's just mark the histogram a little bit so you can see it more easily so right there we have the light blue box behind price and we have our profile hinged from this swing low up to this point now obviously this was a very big strong move to the upside this is where we made our all-time high um, level but now look what happens here this was the first sign of trouble first market structure break at this um, low right here we break down below it then another swing low that we break down strongly from it so now at this point market structure has shifted to the downside we are now in a downtrend at least on the short medium term so now the name of the game is to look for shorting opportunities at the top edges of major high volume nodes and in this case you can see we have a major high volume node here marked we have our point of control line right over here you can notice how price just continuously chops around this point of control areas because it tends to gravitate towards the highest traded volumes areas here and now in this case we can see how we come down well first even if we analyze this top area here you can see how we came down we bounced off this cuts here come up and we reject several times from this top area here of this high volume node which historically had been very strong resistance then support and now back to resistance and now we break into the lower node we have our volume profile so now pretty much any pullback into this top area this low volume cuts is our opportunity to get in our stop loss will be right beyond the cuts entry would be right over here and then again we could target first a trip back to point of control and then a trip back to the bottom areas of the high volume node and you know if you're day trading and we're like in this area here then you can look for you know go on your lower time frames and look for other patterns here uh, to look for bearish scenarios and then you can just use your higher time frame um, chart as a guideline for it but in this case we're giving a swing trade example so again if you had gone in here let me check here how long this trade would have taken if you let's say if you went short here and you held it all the way to the bottom of this node this is 12 days so you know this was like a 12 day swing trade if you would have held the trade from edge to edge of this high volume node And if you have held it to the point of control, that would have been about four days of swing trade. Okay, so this is a pretty pretty straightforward example as far as uh, you know Bitcoin is concerned. If we want here, let's push the profile back here. Like let's say we put the profile back to this area and you can see same scenario to the upside this is just a little extra example but you can see again what we've talked about we have our profile which is pretty much the same even though the profile is only up to this point and we come into the bottom area of it right here we fill this gap and then we make you know we're making higher highs higher lows here 
breaking structure to the upside and then this was a great place to enter long and then you could have gotten out right here into the next low volume node area okay so that's just like an extra example of a swing long trade that you could have taken um, in this uh, scenario okay let me just push this back to where we were here okay so that's the Bitcoin example of a swing long and then to finish up let's just look at another futures e mini example in the SP 500 of a day trading short example and I'm actually going to show you an example on this same area that we just talked about our last intraday long trade because we can see how we can use these levels even if we're sort of going against the predominant higher time frame trend you know if you're day trading you can capture moves either way obviously if you're going with a higher time frame trend you'll have uh you know it'll be a more higher conviction trade but that doesn't mean you can do little scalps or quick trades into the other direction and so for this let's go here 318 at 0200 at 2 in the morning eastern time so this is right before europe is opening let's go into 30 let's hit play it's just gonna reload the chart quickly and I'm just gonna pause it right away when it starts so we can do some annotations okay let me pause it so again you can see we have the area here that I had marked before from our other example I'll just leave it there but then let's focus again on this high volume node that I had talked about before. So we have high volume node from our day session. You can see we already had a strong rejection here in the early hours of the evening session. And we're coming up again to this previous swing high. Now for this level, let me grab my rectangle tool so we can say that this whole area let's say could be was a support area which you can see early in the session we were holding that area broke below and now it's resistance on the other side but now we broke up from it again and now let's apply the same to the top area and I have a template which I like to color in this sort of reddish brown color so now for me you know even though if we zoom out we can see we're on a uptrend the last few days but let's focus now on a short-term uh, intraday short opportunity where we're coming up here as you can see we haven't reached this area we rejected just below that so this whole area now would be a good area to look for shorts you can see a lower cut over here again so we can look to put our stop loss just beyond there and just look to have some sort of short entry around this area and so let's just hit play on this and just see what market is doing we're pushing up we are at the previous high level for the session we broke through it and now this is the area where you know momentum traders get trapped they see this up we've already had a pretty strong move and again I go into a lot more detail when I do my trading I'm looking at order flow tools I have footprint charts I look at market profile I look at the Delta the cumulative Delta etc 
but just going from a pure volume profile standpoint using our number one general rule for taking trades you know that's enough to make a good um, strategy or at least help you to avoid costly mistakes and just be a little bit more safer so we come up here and you know this looks like a pretty frightening level to short given the strength of this and you don't have to just blindly put a limit to short you can wait to see the reaction and then look for an opportunity to get in afterwards so if you push play you can see we come up here into our top of our node from our day session it starts pushing building let me I'm gonna make this faster okay you can see we're squeezing higher and you can see here we wicked even higher depending how tight your stop was like i said i would have put it right beyond these areas which is right around here so yeah i mean you would have barely probably been able to save yourself here but again if you're just waiting for the rejection once you see this candle forming then you could have put your invalidation area right beyond this wick and then you can see how now right there right here this would have been an excellent entry right here we have our clear invalidation we are again inside of this high volume area and below our edge here of the evening and now we have a bearish retest of our shown here and now as far as targets well our first obvious target is back to our session point of control right here and then just beyond that back into our cuts and volumes here for the session and even beyond that we could even say our valley area low would be another possible target here if we're just looking again to take a quick intraday trade and i'll just hit play and then you can see how it just starts pushing down again the overall uh structure as far as the higher time frame has been bullish the last few days then we come here see right here this is where i would definitely i would have closed the position like i said right here look at the bounce we get i mean obviously i know in hindsight i know this is going to come back down but you know look at the reaction you got from here from this low here i definitely you want to just get out at this area we came up again to the top here so if you missed this whole entry again you can look to get in to this area again looking to short and you can even tighten your stop and just put it beyond this area here and then here we just start pushing down further we come to this low and again you see here we wick down but then had a quick snap back and then right here the second area i said value area low it moved up a little bit because you know this volume profile is developing i had it before here but this is definitely another area that you want to just get out if you are short coming into this cuts and the uh, value area or point of control levels 
and then right over here we're just going back to the example we had set earlier about your intraday long where we come into the bottom now of this node over here okay but again you can see just clear the whole chart let's just pause it you can see the examples how I said we're coming a very strong move but we have a very clearly defined top edge of a strong node from the high volumes in the day session which have also been areas of resistance and a top edge in the evening session we come up reject and then you can just wait if you didn't place a limit or were able to get into this here then you can just wait for another retracement clear and validation over here and if you get short then you got clear targets at point of control areas or at the cuts on the bottoms of this profiles right over here okay so let me just stop this let me clean the screen okay and again that's pretty much it for the video let's go back to the first slide so again just to recap this is the number one rule when trading volume profile levels is to use the edges and remember for number one long rule in an uptrend environment only look to long the bottom edge of high volume nodes and in a downtrend environment only look to short the top edge of high volume nodes Again, I know this is a pretty simplified version, but I think this general rule is going to really help everyone starting out with volume profile just to get the basics of the dynamics and behaviors that price have around these levels. And this is going to give you the best opportunities to find good risk reward trade um, opportunities. Okay. So again, thank you so much for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Please consider subscribing. You can go check out my website as well for more information on all my uh, swing trading and day trading courses using volume profile and advanced price action patterns where I go into material just like this video, but in a lot greater detail and with more uh, confluence factors and make sure to follow me on twitter as well so you don't miss out any updates that i have coming okay that's pretty much it thank you again and i will see you in the next video